Hi, folks. Basil Chapman here on this 14th day of December, Tuesday, and uh, just great programming here at TFNN. We started off today with the market kickoff, Tommy Jr. Uh, I did my show. We're going to have Larry Pesavento coming up, and then you've got uh, Think or Swim. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and back to Tom O'Brien again. So we're looking at the Dow down 164, 35,485, right on that 40 period exponential moving average. Uh, so far, the technicals are still positive. We'll see because of the mix of the Dow, it's holding up a little bit better than, say, the S&P. S&P at this particular point is trading uh, down uh, 50. So the S&P at 46.19, making the arch formation with a little bit of a double top from the 47.43 all-time high of the 22nd of November goes to 47.13 just three days ago. And now it's pulling back as weekly chart on for by Friday. That's going to be the most important thing we're looking at for the end of the week. Here we go. QQQ trading down. Uh, sharply down seven at 385, down 1.82 percent. That's the biggest percentage drop in the H pattern under the 50 period moving average. This is serious stuff because it's saying that that NDX or 100 is worried about what the Fed would do. Why? Because interest rates really impact the um, tech sector a lot. I mean, loans and all sorts of things. So we're looking at the IWM. It was up and now it's down at 90 cents at 215, struggling, making the H pattern. It's got to hold two, uh, 212, otherwise, that's a big problem. It's at 215, 216, nope, 215 right now. Gold pulled back quite sharply. We'll see if gold is still going to be weak going into tomorrow's close into Thursday. What the Fed says, does this become an inflationary factor? It's down 12 at 17.75 right now. And silver, I didn't look at that earlier on, but silver is down sharp and made a lower low today. Not a good pattern at all. Dollar's holding well, but it's really not showing strength. Uh, it's up uh, one ticket, 96.37. Crude oil tried to rally early on, then it gave back a bunch. Now it's down to one at 17.29. It's holding in, in, within a range, and that's going to be important. Certainly by Thursday afternoon, where the TLT is, the Lehman 20 year Treasury bond fund trading down 73 cents at 150.36. If it starts to trade and close above 152.80, let's go to 153. That says yields actually coming down. If all of a sudden you're looking at the TLT below 147 in the next two days, yields is going to skyrocket. They're going to go much higher. So have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavento coming up. And uh, see you soon. Thanks for being here.